Hey, yeah, welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody's doing well. And in today's video, we're taking a look at another torque wrench. Uh, this particular one that you see at the front here is from Norbar. 3x drive again for comparison to the Laser and the Vera 3x drive torque wrenches that I've tested in the past. Um, however, this one is slightly different. Its operating range is 12 to 60 newton meters, so a little bit less than both of the other two wrenches. There's also a push-through driver as opposed to the ratchet style torque wrenches of the Laser and the Vera. The fundamental advantage to a push-through type torque wrench is that it can torque up both right hand and left hand threads whereas the Laser and the Vera there being the ratcheting type can only torque up right handed threads. We can just demonstrate the operation of this left hand right hand thread uh, with the little Wizardry Tech unit here. I've set up to 25 Newton meters. We are currently uh, going to tighten up in a clockwise direction, so a right handed thread. Put them on there. Put them on. And. So hopefully, you heard it operate there and click. And the uh, Wizard Tech beeps when it gets close to the setting. If we flick this over now to the other direction, so just push through and it will now go in the opposite direction. So I will now be pulling the wrench towards me. Uh, line that. So now pull him towards me. So again, you can hear the wrench operate all okay. Now we'll remove that. And if you move to the Vera wrench to demo that, it is 25 Newton meters, same setting. We're currently in clockwise direction. So right hand thread, put them in. Again, got the click of the operation there. You can just flip this with the ratchet, so much easier to change direction with this one. However, when we go, you can see we're over the actual torque setting there, but this wrench did not click off the same way as it does with the other thread. Do it again, and we've gone over the setting, but it doesn't operate. Looking back, you hear the operation there. So that's the main advantage of having a push through type style of wrench. With this Norbar one, you do get a blow molded case with this one to keep the wrench in. Uh, okay, then this one here, um, unlike the Vera that you get the sleeve type of case and the laser there that you do nowadays also get a blow molded case. Uh, I just didn't get it with that one because it's so old. Uh, the other thing that you do get with the kit is a 3 8 drive to half inch drive adapter here so you can use standard half inch sockets with this torque wrench should you desire. You don't get that with either of the other two torque wrenches. Uh, manual wise you get this little instruction sheet with the wrench. Uh, it's just in pictorial format really. Uh, nothing too spectacular. Uh, multiple languages are on it as you can see and then you also get a certificate uh, calibration certificate with the unit as well, which is this one here, although they've called it a declaration of conformance. Um, so you can see it's come out all accurate when they've tested it. And we'll have to see what we got on the Dremo test. With the wrench itself, you can see the design resembles the Vera torque wrench more than the laser, the laser being completely metal. Uh, this Norbar uh, has the front metal section well same as the Vera and then you have the plastic handle with all the setting window for the foot pound readings and newton meter readings in there uh, similar sort of manner to the Vera unit uh, adjustment is through the dial at the back here you can uh, turn this you get 0.5 graduations as you turn it through there hopefully you can see uh, and that moves the spring up and down and the setting point accordingly. Uh, once you have the setting you want, you can push in to lock it in place. Pretty much the same as the Vera wrench there. 
uh, and obviously you have the hanging hook with this one as well should you want to store it in that manner uh, not store it in the case um, it is a silent movement of the actual uh, mechanism uh, rather than the Vera that has this uh, quite nice click to it that you can hear hopefully Um, it's obviously personal choice. Personally, for me, I find this uh, system from Vera slightly clearer than the unit from Norbar. Uh, this does seem to be, uh, I guess, a bit better quality unit, a uh, bit better finish overall than you get with the actual Norbar unit. Uh, okay, so we'll reposition the camera over the Ghidorah Drama test and we'll do a few brief tests before we look at the results. Okay, we're set up on our Dremo test. We are set up to 12 Newton meters on the wrench there. And you can see we've clipped off there 12 Newton meters. 12 Newton meters again. Okay. Uh, the next test point is 35 Newton meters, which is on the test certificate. Then I can do a direct comparison. That's 35 Newton meters, not sure how well we can tell. That's 34. So what I'm finding is that this wrench does read a little bit lower than the test uh, on my rig. 33.9 is actually just out of spec. Uh, it should be plus or minus 3% on this. So it's not out by spec much. So this should be 60 Newton meters. 9.2 58.6 on this occasion that's actually all within spec 58.2 uh, is the bottom of the spec um, I do get it going out of spec sometimes on this one uh, it's not going to do it when the camera's on it is it yeah typical uh, 58.1 so it has gone under spec on that one there um, so yeah, I'll get these all tabulated up and we can have a look at the results. So I'm going to put the standard table up that I've been using for these tests. Um, you can see the top is the raw data. Then I adjust that data in the middle section to show the Dremo test with its tolerances applied to it from its calibration certificate. And then finally, the very bottom section of the tables that's the one that we're really looking at because that's the percentage deviation. Um, so you can see at 12 Newton meters, we're all okay. We're all in tolerance. Um, it's when you get to 35 Newton meters and the 60 Newton meters that we get a few readings that are out of tolerance. Um, so overall, I got nine of those readings, nine of the 30 readings are out of tolerance, but I end up with uh, an average of minus 2.58%, uh, which is actually within spec, the plus or minus 3% on average. It's just that certain individual readings do creep out uh, and they're always below the minimum expected value. So that's all those readings there. A uh, little bit disappointed in some respects. You can see it's a little bit out of tolerance on occasion, um, which surprises me with Norbar. Norbar are uh, a very respectable manufacturer of torque tools. Uh, in Europe and they do make uh, calibration equipment as well for torque wrenches so surprising that it has creeped out and surprising that it's uh, a little bit out from its uh, certificate that they've sent out with this one anyway or certainly on my Dremo test it is so not 100% sure what the error would be really um, something to think about but that'll be it for this video thanks for watching hope you found it useful and I'll see you again in the next one